Let's look at some colours. I'm using the sketchbook that I've talked about. This is on white paper and the colours I'm going to use for this course, I'm going to use them throughout, is in fact something very new, innovative. I've had a little look at them and it's called Vivivia. I think I've said that right. Viviva. And it's a new concept in a portable watercolour from some very clever people and they've kindly sent me a little booklet. I'm sure this will change um, as they develop further. It's basically a little booklet with some thick card and what they've done, they've put colour it's, we're talking microns thick here, it's the thickness of paper, but they've put colour on each card and they've separated with some transparent greaseproof type paper so to stop your colours from getting contaminated. They have also given you a little working space here, a bit of card that you can stick on and this has been plasticized in some way so that you can mix and play about with your colours on that. Because this is basically a course about sketching, travel sketching, journaling, that sort of thing, I think using this throughout is quite good because it's a portable, very easily portable piece of equipment. So we're using a water brush for the same reasons, to keep everything convenient and compact. I've briefly had a look at these colours and some of them are not what I would have expected but that's okay because we're not doing a piece of what I might call traditional or purist watercolour painting. We're doing a fun painting on the move. It doesn't really matter if the colours aren't exact. So bear that in mind. So let's have a little look now at these. May, bear in mind also you're going to need something to wipe your brush on. What I'm going to do is get a little piece of cloth and I may impregnate it, impregnate it with a little bit of soap and keep it in a plastic bag so you can easily clean off your brush otherwise you're going to get some cross contamination. Also they are quite staining. Uh, you see that thumb? Let's see that thumb there. That's from playing about a bit earlier and it has stained my hand. So do wash your hands afterwards and just be aware of that. So without further ado, let's have a look. Now you can take as much as you want, of course. And you can just squeeze a bit of water out just to fade that out. Okay, so you're starting off quite intense and then you're fading it out. Because we're doing this travel journal sort of sketchbook, we're not going to be working very wet. It's going to be fairly dry. So that's why I'm staying in the sketchbook, which isn't watercolour quality paper, but it is nice and thick. Right, deep pink. Okay, not as pink as I would have thought, I must admit. Don't think my brush was contaminated, but let's see how it dries out. Next up, we have vermilion. And of course, it depends how much you activate off the swatch. And squeezing a bit of water out just to fade it out. Right, getting that off my brush. That's, it's not so crucial when you're painting, but obviously for these swatches, we want to get a fairly accurate colour in between applying the paint. A bit more there. Dusk orange. Again, get my brush cleaned off a bit. And over the page we've got chrome yellow. It's quite interesting, obviously this is to do with the production, that the colour you see on the card is nothing like the colour you get on the paper. That's a good chrome orange, I would say. That's, that's a nice colour. OK, we've now got gold ochre. So let's see, make sure I've cleaned my brush off. 
have a little bit more there. That's quite a nice goldy colour. Now we're coming to burnt umber, what they call burnt umber to get my you can see how staining um, the colours are. So the pigments are very strong. You've got the colour indication there on each page to help you find your way around. Want a bit more of that. Burnt umber. Okay. And we have burnt sienna, a little bit more off there. I can see these going an awful long way. They are going to last a long time, which is really nice to know. Okay, there's the goldy ready colours. And now we're going on to, we've got something called light green. These look almost the same on the card, but of course they are not. My brush seems to have gone a bit dry. Let's squirt a bit more water out. There we go. That's better. That's a nice bright green. When you're using these water brushes, you do have to be mindful of not squirting too much out, but also having enough to activate the colour. Now we're going on to their sap green. And turn over. And we have then Viridian. Which looks pretty much like Viridian. Let's get a little bit more. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Not so intense. Some of the pigments are so much stronger than the others, which we do find with painting anyway, don't we? Peacock Blue looks like a magentary purple colour here, peacock blue. Oh, that's a pretty colour. Okay, a sort of cross between cobalt and ultramarine maybe. Now we're going over the page to Prussian blue. And I've squirted too much water out there. bit too thin there, squirted too much out. Let's get a bit more. There we go. Yes, that's like, they would say Persian. I would say it's like a Prussian blue, but that's okay. Now we've got violet. Beautiful color, very pretty, very pretty indeed. And finally, the last two colours, we have magenta. That's a lovely, strong colour. And finally, just clean my brush off a bit, although it doesn't matter because we're going to slate black. And that is a slate black. OK, so lovely colours, nice and bright and lively and of course you've got this little facility on the back for mixing. Let's just put a little bit of that slate black on there and go back to a bit of sap green and pop it there. There we go to darken, darken the sap green. So you've got that little board there and you can wipe off. So that's quite handy. You just stick that on and away you go. So that's what we're going to be using through this course because I think it's fun. 
and the colours are jolly and it's playful and it's something that I'm sure is going to develop and give people a lot of pleasure.